Hey guys, this is Ryan Cradiville with Hudson Inc. in Lake City, Michigan. Today we are hooked up to our 8R340 and we have a triple mower set up on these. We have the F350R mower on the front and the R990R mowers on the rear. And in this video we're going to go over how to set the frame operating height for these mowers on the front and the back. So we'll start with the front here. Um, this mower is connected to the front three-point hitch here. And at this pin on the front, or the hitch pin on the front, we will want that to be two feet, five and a half inches from the ground, or 29 and a half inches, uh, best to measure on a concrete surface or some other kind of hard surface. Once we then have that height set, we will take these chains and we will move them to the highest setting in this uh, bracket here. And then once that is set, we can go ahead and then lower the three point hitch and put it in the float position and remeasure that point on this hitch pin to make sure that we are still at the 29 and a half inches. We'll now go over to the rear. And on the rear, we'll be doing the same thing with the rear hitch. So on the rear three point, we have the pin point here, which would be on the quick hitch that we will have to measure to. And in this case, we will want two feet, seven and a half inches or 31 and a half inches from the ground. Same thing would be to measure from the concrete surface or a hard surface to ensure that. Since there are no chains on the rear, um, you could set an upper limit on your three-point hitch in the rear to set to so you don't go past, so you don't go over this set point of 31 and a half inches. Um, and to note, when we are doing transport, that hitch pin should be about a foot off the ground or right at a foot off the ground to ensure that the tops of our mowers are not higher than the 13 foot six inches that we are legal for for transporting down the road. So that is how you set the frame operating height on the triple mower setup we have here. Thank you for watching.